All right, hey guys, welcome to the beginning of a new series here with me, Anthro, and instead of Crusader Kings 2, we're going to be playing EU4. Uh, so yeah, I got a couple of requests while I was away for an EU4, <laughs> for an EU4 series, uh, so I'm thinking about playing that, and I've been playing a little bit personally, I've been enjoying the game, um, different kind of feel from Crusader Kings, uh, so I kind of want to check it out. We are going to be playing in the HRE. Oh, my scroll in speed really slow. Uh, so I had a little personal game in Brandenburg that I really enjoyed because it gives you a lot of flexibility in what you can do depending on uh, what the countries around you are doing. So we're going to definitely play Band 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 Big. You can see I haven't, <laughs> I haven't recorded a video in a while, guys. I forgot apparently how to talk to people. So we're going to give this a shot. Uh, so the cool thing about about Brandenburg is that um, if you get some of the lands over here and a lot of the lands over to here, you can form uh, Prussia, which is pretty cool. Um, Brandenburg starts with Prussian ideas, which are very militaristic, which is fun. Uh, and what else? And uh, and yeah, if you can get uh, if you can go southward and get some of these countries over here, you have the opportunity to form Germany. So there's a good couple of uh, a couple of options. Uh, the starting well, we might as well just start. Um, Iron Man? Yeah, we're going to do Iron Man. I apologize in advance for complaining about the... Let's see, I have a Brandenburg game there. This one's going to be called... What? Hit all the menu keys. There we go. Brandenburg. Is that spelled right? Yes, Brandenburg LP. We'll start Iron Man. <clears throat> Excuse me, and hopefully get some achievements and crap along the way. If the game ever starts. Austria is the emperor, as they tend to be when at the start of the game. My last personal game, Austria, just blobbed like crazy. Not, not a lot of fun for me. All right. So I have a, a bit of an initial starting strategy that I want to try. Well, it works. It has worked for me before. So before we even unpause the game, I want to get a couple of strong allies. As, as a member of the HRE, allying with Austria early is incredibly important. Because they... Um, and there's the autosave. Because if they're involved in a war that you start in the HRE, they won't ask you for the for the stupid land back. Um, and then I usually go with Poland as my secondary ally um, right off the bat. Which is usually works out because they don't border Austria. And uh, and so they like them and Austria don't tend to hate each other too early in the game. Uh, and those are both really strong allies to get who will help me against my first enemy who is going to be the... Uh, Pomerania. So let's check out. Because uh, I want to check here. Poland's got 12,000 men. What does Lithuania have? Because Lithuania could also help. Because like, for some reason, I don't, they don't start the game. Yeah, uh, yeah. we're going to go with Lithuania this time. Um, Lithuania doesn't start the game under Poland. And I thought they did. I, this, I think this is the earliest bookmark. I'm not positive. But, uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to see... Never mind. We can't do that. Uh, so Poland, how you doing? All right, back to Poland. Uh, so we will Royal Mary Poland as well. And then uh, we're going to start, um, once we get our alliances and stuff going, we'll uh, begin fabricating claims on Pomerania and uh, hopefully be able to take them in the short term. Let's get up to our got five and one. So we're going to build one and one, which is fine. Um, going to get up to our... There's our guy back. Uh, they will take an alliance. That's awesome. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry up, Austria. Uh, 12th of... Let's go a little bit faster. I've been playing on speed 4. It seems pretty good. Oh, look at that. Poland already wants an alliance. That's going to save me a step. Austria will take the alliance. Beautiful. And then... Good. We're going to go and start fabricating on these asshats. Already rivaled us. Fabricate a claim on this place. Uh, we're going to go ahead and check out Austria. They're um, rivaled with Burgundy, France, and Ottomans. And oh, I'm also going to um, gonna rival the Teutonic Order because I hate them from my last game. And we'll also do Burgundy. We get Austria on our side. So we'll get those two guys going. Another possibility for an, for an ally short-term would be Denmark. Um, they don't like the Teutonic Order, so we got that going for us. And we want to keep Bohemia off our back. Uh, we got Teutonic Order. Good. Everybody hates the Teutons. Uh, so that should be a good start, so we're going to let some time go. I'm going to probably stick on speed 3 early. Um, 
as soon as we can, we're going to start improving relations with Austria just to ensure that they get into the war with us when it uh, when it inevitably comes up. So on the 14th, which is coming up soon. Uh, let's see, Mag Mag Magdeburg, whatever. Um, improve relations, please. These guys, no, that's Mecklenburg. That's Magdeburg. Don't fabricate claims on me, jerk. Their theocracy. <clears throat> so yeah, my, my immediate neighbors, if we want to look around, uh, kind of slim pickings uh, to the south right away because Wittenberg, Wittenberg is um, under a personal union with Saxony at the beginning of the game. Um, Anhalt is a kingdom who has rivaled me. Uh, Magdeburg is a theocracy, so you can't royal marry. Uh, Dunberg doesn't hate us, so that's good. Mecklenburg um, is Pomeranian, so we'll get claims on that eventually. Uh, they w say uh, the, also one of the big problems with Brandenburg early in the game is you are three provinces, but your base tax isn't that great, so you can't really like even if I even if these guys like me, I got a minus. No, no, wait, I could do them. What about Mecklenburg? Yeah, they won't take vassalization. Base tax is a big, big oof. So as soon as we humanly can, we're gonna try to get Lubeck. Uh, because Lubeck is like a 14 tax, 12, 12 base tax, which really would help bump us up. We're going to move our guys over to here. In the short term, we are going to lower our army maintenance until we're ready to go to war. Save a little bit of money. So let's go up to speed 4 just while things keep going. Uh, as far as I... Oh, let's take a mission. What's our mission? New mark. We will eventually do that. Does that give us... No. I don't think that gives us a claim. And none of these are really good. Oh, yeah, so what I was talking about here, to form Germany, you need a lot of countries. Um, Mecklenburg, Altmark, Lundberg, Brunswick, Anhalt. So it's basically, like, all of this stuff. And also Nuremberg, I believe, which is kind of annoying. It's, like, the one that's not attached. And then to form Prussia, you only need to have... Uh, you need to have Hinterpommern, Hinterpommer or Danzig, and... Osterprusen, which is over here. So one of these. Um, or Hinterpom here, which I'm going to get when I take Pomerania. Um, so that's cool. And you also have to be Protestant or Reformed, which is probably going to happen. It's, you just end up getting so many, so many counties flipped in this particular part because you're German. And that is where the German stuff happened. Uh, we'll let time keep ticking. We have a 332. Not terrible. Um, at the start of the game. Our next is a 2 2 1, who's less good. So maybe what we could do is make our heir a commander. Yeah, he's crappy. I don't have the military points to spend at the moment, though, and some leader is better than no leader. So I wouldn't mind if he died, if we could potentially get another, um, get another, what you would call it, heir, who's potentially better. Um, Poland's got disputed succession. Oops. So all the, like in all the time I've been playing this game, I have never lucked into a to a personal union. I'm hoping that at some point it could happen. We're gonna hold off on the first round of cardinals until we kind of get up to what's our max thirty about thirty five. So once we get up close to that, then we'll start investing. The first round is just pointless. You're too small to do anything, and eventually we'll start improving papal relations as well. Uh, so Poland, what happens if you die? In interregnum. Hell is that? Now this is probably the part where they might um, personal unionize with Lithuania. It'd be nice to PU Austria. That'd be pretty awesome. Let's see. Succession war between Hungary and Austria if he dies right now. Really, that's kind of interesting. They would, I guess, they would fight for their independence. Uh, let's see. Claims working its way up. That's good. We're improving relations with Austria. We are up to 130. Poland likes us well enough. Oh, they did. There they go. Oh, no, this is vassals. I thought they were going to get the, uh, they are allied with Lithuania, though. As long as nobody goes to war until I get my... Oh, God damn it. And immediately we get discovered, which is going to give us 15 aggressive expansion with just about everybody. Sucks getting discovered. That's where spy offense comes into uh, be a big deal. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, so if you guys have watched my channel update, you'll know that... There we go. God, it was so close, too. 
Uh, if you've watched my channel update, you'd seen that I have uh, not been posting a lot and that I'm going to be in this uh, program that I'm doing for a while. So the videos are going to be kind of few and far between, but I'll try to get them out. Let's see. If we declare war, will the others come? Yes, yes. All right. So we're going to do that in just a second. First, we're going to move our guys out of harm's way. We're going to turn our military majiggy up so that we're making zero money. And uh, we're going to hide for a little bit at the beginning of the war, but we do need to get up and take their capital, which is the Stetton there. So hopefully we'll be able to do that. Now let's go ahead and declare the war. I guess we should probably set them as a... No, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> uh, we're going to fight Lundberg and Oldenburg and East Frisia as well. Whatever. We've got both of these big guys. So that's going to put us at war with... Yep, there goes Lundberg. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're going to hang out here for a few minutes until uh, they move their guys out. Because last time I did this, I got my butt kicked. Um... And then meet in the in the first war. They can go ahead and siege whatever they want to siege. Austria will come clean up later on. Wow, they got a lot of guys. Nope, don't do that. So oh, people can attach to me? Beautiful. Alright, let's cross the river. Oh, Austria is gonna get what I need him to get. What I need to get. And look at that. God damn it, Austria. This is what sucks, man. I really hate when your allies in war take... Oh, actually, no. It might be okay. My plan is to vassalize. So, if... Jesus. Potsdam? Where's Potsdam? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say no, because I'm pretty sure Austria will take care of that for me. Boom. Wiped him out. I just need to take their capital, which is gonna happen. There we go. Good. Get back to this map mode. Uh, detach a siege. Go over there. Does our leader have any siege? No. Cool. And who's who's doing Limburg? Mazovia. Do I have enough guys to detach a siege? That's me. That's me. Okay. I don't know. Go over here. I had eight guys. Yeah, this looks fine. All right. So if we can get Lundberg at the same swipe, that'd be pretty sweet. But I doubt Austria is going to move. And we got that one too. Awesome. All right. Things are working out for us. Austria is fighting our rebels. Sit the peasants down. And that'll be good. Cool. All right. So things are going swimmingly at the start. Uh... Are any of these things useful? No. We're not probably not going to get our prestige above 50 with this war. Good, good, good. I like when things go well. They're still leading the siege in their capital. That's the important bit, because I want to vassalize them. <laughs> wow, Lundberg's going to fall super quick. What's their base tax? Five. That's pretty good. Hanoverian. Han Hanoverian culture. Not an accepted culture. Would be, though, once I court it. It's going to put me behind on ideas, though, if I do that. We'll see. We might just make them pay me a bunch of gold. Right. Lindbergh has fallen and is occupied by Poland. Awesome. Well, that's great. So, at least I can piece them out and take all their money. Give me all of your money. Give me... Oops, I don't want to offer tribute. That's wrong. Give me your trade power. Uh, null with the Hansa. Why not all of your allies? Nah, <laughs> sucks. Alright, so we're going to have 50 gold. We get no aggressive expansion. We'll get their trade power, which help make us some money. And get them out of the war. They're going to lose 11 prestige. I'll gain 11. You know, real quick... Maybe I'll take this one. I feel like maybe we can get our prestige to 50 if we piece everybody out correctly. 
Uh, so let's talk to him again. Save everything. Nope. Oh, it did. 50 ducats. No, give me everything. Give me all of your money. Get a, there we go. No, now they won't do that. Um, you can keep Oldenburg. That's fine. Oh, no, don't become a vassal of Poland. What am I doing? Okay, cool. We're going to 11 prestige. That sounds gravy. So if we can... <clears throat> excuse me. If we can manage to... Uh, who are we at war with? So we're at war with these two. As soon as those fall to Austria, uh, we will be able to... Not Oldenburg. Why aren't you sieging Oldenburg? Let's piece these guys out one at a time if we can manage to get a bunch of... God damn it, Austria. <laughs> they in siege. I need you to do. Make yourself useful. Uh, what cannons? Hmm. Oldenburg is Hanoverian as well, right? Yep. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't even think we're going to get credit for this, though, because all of these troops are Austrian, but we'll see. But yeah, if I can piece out everybody once at, one at a time, that'll be super handy. We'll make some money. We're losing money right now. 65, God. Start off in such dire straits as far as um, income is concerned. Austria should be close to getting done improving. Oh, not even close, actually. Eh. What do they think of us? They love us, right? 200, beautiful. We're gonna crank that all the way up. Man, these sieges are slow. We could pop it up to speed 5 just for the course of, uh... There's no real war left. It's just sieging. Once we finish this siege, we'll go over to, uh, help out our guys over here. Maybe go that, make that go faster. If we manage to siege the capital. Oh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, another thing I'm going to try to do in this series is make my videos a little bit shorter. Um, they're really long. Like, my CK2 videos tend to go to, like, 50 minutes. And, you know, it's a lot. Um, yeah, trade dispute against the Hansa. Who are you allied with? Bremen, Magdeburg. Oh, guess who just won themselves a trip to... My friend. We will go ahead and so well, not that it's really going to do much. Come on, fall jerks. We'll let Pomerade. Oh, what? Oh no, Brandenburg. Jeez, that scared me. Like no, I totally sieged that. Okay, that's good. Oh, Pomerania. Shit. Okay, go here. What a uh, Poland, you're such a dick. There's the first peace offer. From Pomerania, what do you want? Ha! <laughs> Decline. You have no idea the plans I have for you, Pomerania. Uh, Austria, Aragon, Naples. Yeah, totally. I'm down. Just help me finish these sieges, and then you can do whatever the fudge you want to do. Ah, these sieges take forever. Alright, Austria finished these guys off. Let's go ahead and take everything we can get from them. We're going to take trade power. You're going to concede defeat, obviously. You're going to annul your treaties with Brunswick and Gallery, and you're going to give me all of your gold. Good. And that will be up to 43. That's a pretty good take. And then when Oldenburg falls, we'll be able to do the same thing. Satisfy our ambition. Gain a free stability. Good stuff. If it ever falls. That's the key to these things. And now Austria is free to go punch Naples. What's this war over? Take Corsica. So Aragon is trying to take Corsica. She's a member of the HRE. Uh, Aragon's got a decent amount of men, but Austria has more. Okay, go to. Awesome. You guys, go help out. Uh, actually, just go home. And, hey, Oldenburg. What up, buddy? 
How would you like to give me all of your gold? Um, so now your treaties with the Hansa, and I could make them a vassal, but I'm not going to. Transfer trade power. Um, good. And then it'll give me another, how much? Only five prestige. Why is that? I get more prestige for doing this? Ten. I would do it. Should I... No, they're too far away. I don't want them to be a vassal. Damn it. Only five prestige. That sucks. Well, hopefully we'll get in, we'll get the get the rest from. All right. So let's see. Zippo Diplo power. See a little bit of inflation. Uh, we're gonna get twenty ducats. So now they're treaties with the Hansa, and they're gonna be their trade power. That's fine. We're up to forty-eight on the thing here. Let's see. Are you willing to vassalize? I want you to be my vassal. Oh, you'll totally take it. Give me all your money. That's nine gold. Um, oh. oh, that's too bad. Get rid of the trade power thing. I don't care about your allies. What if I were to take this as well? That's a lot of that's a lot of aggressive expansion. Yeah, let's not do that. Uh, this is only going to affect. Yeah, this isn't going to be too bad. Cool. So they will become my vassal. Um, now give me some money. Nine gold. And it's going to give me how much prestige? Five. That is enough. Good. Oh, holy crap. Alright, good. Lost a trade dispute. Gained a stability. All in good stuff. Alright, cool. So let's take our men. Everybody go to Brandenburg. And then as soon as our diplomat gets back and the timer wears off, we're going to... Um, so we're going to take solidify papal relations. How close are we at Austria? 24 more. Uh, let's stop Austria for the time being. So we're going to need that diplomat. Let's go down to uh, solidify our papal relations. Pope likes us enough. Relations. And then we're just going to sit pretty for a little while. Um, so we're going to need to improve our relations with Pomerania to be able to annex them down the road. We'll probably do a royal marriage. Might as well. We lose a two. We lose two legitimacy. It's something we can handle. It'll help get our things going in the right direction. And then April seventh, not too far away. The Bishop of Brandenburg. What is this? Twelve ducats. Little Catholicism reform desire. Yeah. Give me that money. Prove. Go. Good. Uh, we are at war, but not a war that we need to participate in, so we'll go ahead and drop our maintenance down a little bit. This money will be good for a little while. I'm going to try to save it up, uh, unless you now build one more unit, which I will do. Because I want to stay as competitive as possible. Nope, not two. Damn it. Stupid lag. Subtract. Cool. So, uh, everything is in the good. Ooh. Denmark is eating up on Sweden. Sweden must have declared independence. Sweden's really strong since the new uh, expansion came out. Livonian Order, occupied by Lithuania. Um, you know what we should start? Uh, as soon as we have a diplomat, we need to start fabricating a claim on... Yeah, we got ten years to deal with Pomerania. Let's uh let's go ahead and just bring him home until we can get we can just get one claim, preferably on Danzig. We have a core on Newmark, don't we? Yeah. Well actually so we don't really need a a justification. Although we could go ahead and just, you know, if we get into a war and we can take Danzig. But, oh yeah, no uh uh go, go back to there. Cool. So, yeah, so we'll roll this out for a few more minutes, see if anything interesting happens in the short term. Get our nice little army that we got going for us together. Uh, Bohemia is outraged, whatever. Poland likes us pretty well. These guys suck. Everybody else seems okay. Aggressive expansion is pretty strong. My, my big mistake in my last game was... Uh, Doing expanding too quickly, 
And that's something you just can't do in Europa Universalis. Like you can, you can expand away to your heart's content in, in Crusader Kings, and no one gives a gives a rat's ass except the people you conquered. Here it's like, oh, you looked at that guy funny. I hate you for the next twenty years. So I gotta take it easy on that one. <clears throat> We're not at war with Denmark, are we? Just Naples and Aragon. How's this? Well, that's at zero percent. Has anything happened yet? Yeah, Aragon is going to take Corsica, like, take the, win the siege, because I don't think Austria has, I don't think Austria has any boats. There's not really much you can do against an island without boats. Uh, England is, as traditionally, losing the Hundred Years War to France. Anything else interesting happening in Europe? Algiers is fighting Morocco. Karakun is expanding into Georgia. Uh, is that how you pronounce it? Karakoyunlu. No idea. Uh, Novgorod being completely and utterly obliviated by Muscovy. Normal. Part of Norway occupied by Sweden. Nido. Take a look at the wars. I didn't pause it. Unpause. Um, current wars. Wow. That's a lot of stuff. Bavaria is uh, trying to fight Ansbach. Hey, who's losing? Hundred Years War. Oh, poor England. This is bad. Swedish War for Independence not going well for Sweden. Hmm. Interesting stuff. Uh, Saxony likes us. Maybe we can make that work to our advantage at some point. So that'd be cool. I would like to form Germany if it was all possible. I mean, forming Prussia is a lot easier in the long, short term. Like, expanding down here, each is, because each of these guys is so little, it's really hard to do much against them. I could get Brunswick to like me. There's a lot of guys. Wow, 33? Jeez. Why? Good question. Hmm. Whatever. So, Papal States are going. Pomerania is, you know, they're learning to love us. And, um, I think at some point, I don't know if we have, we'll probably, yeah, once we, in, once we integrate them, they will, uh, Pomerania will become an accepted culture just because they're enormous. Mecklenburg, I would like to track you. Nautic Order, Bremen, and the Hansa. I'd have to fight the Hansa. Yeah. That's the thing to do soon. This is, a good, this is a good province. Give us right next to Lubeck, which I will take at some point because I want it. Oh, da -da -da. Not really much going on right now. Uh, let's take a look through our menus. So yeah, no advisors yet because we're poor. Um, do economy or do diplomacy. Everything's groovy. Um, let's see, Dispute of Succession, Austria has Dispute of Succession, that's the only one we're married to that does. Uh, we're making pretty good, pretty good gold, um, fleet maintenance, oh, is it zero? Why do I have fleet maintenance? I'm gonna take a, a page out of Quill's book and just turn this way the hell down, uh, while we're at peace and try to make as much money as possible. Uh, oh, I think we're at our papal relations cap, let's see. We'll try to take this guy away from Munster. Just dump everything into him. Uh, where else? Where were we? Uh, trade. We're not really doing much in the way of trade right now. When we get Pomerania and some of these northern uh, coastline areas incorporated, we will be able to to pull our you know pull a little bit of weight in Lubeck, which is good. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Tech. You know, nothing. Nothing much here. Oh, ideas. That's something interesting to look at. Um, my plan is to take Diplo ideas straight off the bat. Um, because the extra diplomat is awesome, uh, fabricating claim reduction time is great, uh, increase in relations is going to be good, because I am going to try to diplo annex as many people as I possibly can. Um, and then the this, this one, the diplomatic uh, reputation, is huge for, for annexing people. And then, of course, um, not getting your stability, not getting a stability hit for breaking royal marriages is handy. Aside from that, once we get to uh, military, it'd probably be offensive, and I do like innovative, but I'm going to look around. I might do religious, um, especially if we go Protestant.
because then it gives us religious costs as belli against our neighbors. Uh, we get missionaries, but cheaper stability costs. Missionaries are stronger. Uh, tolerance of the true faith, prestige, a little bit of tolerance for heretics, and better relations over time is great. That helps you bleed off aggressive expansion really fast. Um, if not religious or innovative, then maybe economic. We do get a lot of money from tax, and um, I like like money is awesome. It's, uh, that's fine, whatever. And it's per annum, get an extra possible advisor, land maintenance goes down, extra production efficiency, and reduce inflation costs, which is a reduced cost for re reducing inflation, right? Is that what I read? Uh, which is good. All those things are good. So we'll see. The administrative one is kind of still up in the air as far as what we're going to do. Um, what are you guys? Just peasants? All right, solidified our papal relations. Awesome. Peasants. Uh, let's go ahead and take care of them. That'll help boost our... Help boost uh, Pomerini's opinion of us. What other mission can we take? Rival of our rival. France like us. Protect against Burgundy with 38 troops. That's probably not going to happen. Now, if we get called into a war with the whole and uh, against the Teutons, then we will indeed take that one. Uh, what's France think of us, anyway? Probably not too happy. Oh, they like us. Enemy of enemy. Oh, we could potentially do that. Is that 125 or just 100? Oh, that was 125. I'm going to get some Diplo Power and Prestige. That's not bad. Come on, next month. You can do it. Well, Austria's prestige is really low. Let's see. Uh, stability, yeah. Nothing major going on at all. That extra, that free stability is super nice early in the game. That's going to help us make some money. Uh, religion, nothing's happening yet. Oh, we lost our... Speaking of, we lost our stupid cardinal. Can't do anything about it. Um, military. He's got our heir as a leader. He's terrible. But I don't really want to spend any points on anything. And, yeah, Pomerania likes us now. They like us a lot more than they did when we were declaring war on them. And there's our tech. And it's going to be admin, and we're going to take it. Good, good, good. All right, cool. Come back down here. Let's turn down our military. Jiggy. Pretty there. And let's take an idea group. And we'll be able to get one right off the bat. So if we take economics, it's going to give us a... Or diplomatic... To give us a free diplomat straight away. Boom. Oh, and let's, uh, I don't know if you guys haven't seen Prussian Ideas. Uh, we get boost in tax model, or straight off the bat, we get, um, extra discipline, which is super nice. Um, a little extra yearly army tradition, which slows decay, and, uh, we don't suffer quite as much aggressive expansion if we get caught fabricating claims. Um, we also, yeah, so that's what that is. Uh, first idea gives tax modifier, uh, second... Stability, which is really nice. Morale, extra morale of armies, less army decay, better infantry, faster recruitment. This one's super nice. All really good stuff. Uh, let's put this other diplomat to use. Poland, you still like me, right? You do. Do I need to improve relations with you? Fabricate on this guy. Still allied with nobody. No, he's valid with the hands. Uh, so we'll go and improve relations with Poland at the moment. Just to get the, just to get them to like us. Invest in a cardinal. Let's go after our guy. We're definitely not going to be able to compete long term with Austria for that guy. I could have gone for the France thing. This guy should be back from the papacy any minute. Yep. Yeah, we'll take the France one. Extra prestige and admin power is nice, or diplo power. I can't remember which one it was. Come on, take over. France is at plus two stability. Bunch of jerks. Come on. Four more. The hell? It was two more a second ago. Come on. I'm not going to wait another month. Come on back. And in 15 days, we will be able to send them off to France. 
I never could get a, a relationship going with France in the other game I was playing. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to at least stay on some good terms with them, and, you know, potentially alliances would be great. Oh, we're at 4-4 four, four right now. Oh, the frickin' Mantua Royal Marriage. Ugh. You start the game with that as Brandenburg. I have no idea why. It's completely worthless. And, like, it never goes away. I've had both leaders, or both kings die, and you're still like, you're married to Mantua. Where are they even, anyway? Sancona. Vino. Siena. Siena. Tuscany. Papal States. Ferrara. Mantua. They're these idiots. What do I want with this? They're only ally with Savoy. Uh, whatever. Hopefully that will end, and I don't have to spend stability to break that marriage. We are losing this war badly. Which is okay, because... I bet you Austria can't get rights of access through all these guys. No, but they are kicking Naples' ass. Austria's got no fleet to speak of. Oh, there we go. Aragon. Genoa will cede Corsica to Aragon. Austria will pay money. Ooh. Sucks for Austria. That's going to knock their prestige down. 15, yeah. only I could luck into getting a personal union with Austria. That'd be super. Oh, God, the, Hots, the Habsburgs are probably going to die off. Hey, I got a cardinal. Nice. That's good stuff. All right, and actually, that seems like a pretty good time to cut this video, guys. So I'm going to stop it here. Um, and when we come back next time, we're just going to keep, uh, keep on keeping on, really. We are going to... We're not going to do too much too early. I want to... We have to wait until f uh, seven more years to annex uh, Pomerania. And so that's going to be, you know, a big deal. Money is going to go down here soon. It already did, didn't it? Oh, no. 53 for those guys. So I've got two more years of making decent money. Did I not turn my... I turned it down. God, I'm so poor. Uh, so, <laughs> so, yeah. So when we come back, we will, uh, you know... See what we can do. Maybe we'll go after Mecklenburg. Uh, we do have a lot of aggressive expansion right now. You guys dislike us because... Oh. Or it all went away. Oh, 28. There we go. 28, yeah. So we've got a lot of aggressive expansion. Taking this guy would be another, like, 20. And it would piss off all these guys, so... But he is worth a lot. And he's going to be Pomeranian, so when these guys get incorporated, it'll be an accepted culture, and that'll all be good. So we'll see what we can do. Um, if Austria will come, then, then, then we'll do it. We'll see how it goes. But until then, I'm going to see you guys next time. Adios.